Hey, good afternoon everyone. Welcome back to another episode of The Midnight Showing. I am Eve, and uh, today we're going to, you know, since it's October, doing a lot of horror movies, today we're going to cover uh, the infamous Grindhouse, uh, if anybody remembers that movie from 2007. Uh, Grindhouse was a throwback to, like, Grindhouse movies uh, in the 70s. You know, you go into a theater and you watch like a bunch of like, you know, exploitation, sexploitation, blaxploitation, or just like schlock kind of movies uh, that were very like, you know, like violent and, you know, crazy and, you know, so obscene and whatever. Um, so that's what this was. And, um, you know, it was a double feature. Two movies... <laughs> Um, from two different directors, Robert Rodriguez and Quentin Tarantino, and in between you had like movie trailers, which were f fake movie trailers that were supposed to be like B movie style from other different directors. It was a really awesome concept, uh, and I actually enjoyed the movie. So Grindhouse surprisingly came out. Um, I think it was uh, Easter weekend, uh, April six, two thousand seven. Um, very odd weekend to release a movie like that and uh it it was supposed to be a big movie because of the names that were attached because it was tarantino and rodriguez so my theater we got booked two prints of grindhouse i would imagine other theaters uh around you know everywhere got booked as well uh you know multiple prints of this movie they probably just thought automatically oh sin city with like you know on top of grindhouse having the two directors you had like 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 a huge cast of like like you know very popular actors at the time and some pretty much still are um you know so sin city had that same thing going for it but it was a much better success <clears throat> so grindhouse came my theater got it and um it was um, about, hmm, uh, it came in 12 reels for one print. 12 reels. That was the longest movie I've ever built. It was 12 reels. Um, so two prints, 24 reels. <laughs> uh, wow, it took me a long time to put those together. Maybe like, you know, a, a few hours for each one. And then I had to like move one of the prints. I needed help doing it to a theater that was not a part of the booth upstairs, but downstairs. Um, I was so afraid to carry that print because we weren't doing reel to reel. We were, we were using the platter system. Um, so normally when you move a print, you clamp it up or you put like a giant donut on it. Or like if your booth is huge, you can put the print on a cart and just push it. Um, no, I had to walk it downstairs and make sure that the ring in the center did not pop out and the film would go all over the place. Uh, luckily, I, I survived. <laughs> so, and I remember uh, uh, the movie came and, and uh, we, there were specific instructions, uh, like, you know, like, a lot, like, I, like I always show if I have the paper available right here. Um, uh, unfortunately, you know, at the time, this was a Weinstein company picture. Uh, so, uh, if you look here, there's like a description of, um, you know, contacting, uh, you know, a third party like Technicolor. And, um, you know, they explain, um, you know, the, the trailers that came in the can were the Rob Zombie's Halloween and the 1408. And uh, they explain the double feature, how it starts. The first trailer you're going to see in the double feature is the machete. That was before machete was even a movie. It was just like a fake trailer. Um, and then uh, then you have the first movie, Planet Terror. And then part two, you have the mock intermission. It was cool. They had all these intermissions from like the 70s and, and you know, I guess 50s or whatever, uh, telling you all go to the snack bar or, you know, your feature presentation is restricted. Uh, really very cool vintage, like, throwback. Uh, this is a unique movie. Um, and then you had the fake trailers, Werewolf Woman of the SS, Don't, and Thanksgiving in the middle, uh, directed by different directors. I think it was Rob Zombie, Eli Roth. 
And then they tell us in here, uh, the look of Grindhouse is intended to replicate 70s action and horror films after heavy circulation in theaters. To that end, scratches, sprocket runoff, focus problems, freeze frame, and film burn are all intentional. So, that, you know, we had to, like, notify people at the box office, this movie you're going to watch looks purposely beat up. <laughs> um, so, well, you know, the movie came, ultimately, and um, it bombed. It was a huge flop. Nobody went to go see it. Um, I think because it was Easter weekend, and I also remember that the advertisements for this movie were not as strong. Um... Uh, I saw some trailers on it, but not like on a lot. I never ran a lot of these trailers on big stuff. It was always on like a smaller movie. Um, I think they just, you know, they, they, they just expected it to, to perform so huge because of the names that were associated with it. And, um, it didn't, it, it just flopped really bad all weekend. Uh, usually Easter weekend is a busy weekend. It wasn't for this Easter. <laughs> and, um... I remember uh, groups of people, like, you know, I'd run the movie and you'd see, like, maybe, depending on the show, you'd see, like, six people, ten people, twenty people, then it goes back to, like, three, and, you know, you only had, like, four shows a day because it was, it was, like, a three and a half hour movie. It was really long. Um, I remember I was walking in the lobby once and I forgot what I was doing, and then uh, people walked out, and there, and, and this woman was just like, man, this, this movie's terrible, you know? And I was like, oh, wait, there's another movie right after in about 10 minutes. She's like, there's another one? No, I'm leaving. <laughs> um, yeah, so so people were really caught off guard by this movie. It, it didn't do anything. Um, but hey, you know, I ran it. Um, you know, I love film. And, and, and I'd say, um, you know, if you love movies and you're a cinephile, this is, this, is, this is the movie that's right up your alley. It's more of a novelty uh, and it's something that to enjoy with your friends because it's so ridiculous. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, you know, I, I got to run it, and I remember when it came out, I was in theaters for, like, two weeks, and then they uh, then they got rid of it. Um, so, but I, what I still have right here, uh, let me put this back, the sheet of paper that came with the print. Yeah, see, you know, also on the other side, it was... Uh, you know, they, they just told they just told you to tell everybody else that was coming to watch the movie that it was like you know a um, a, uh, a you know a messed up looking movie. So I still have uh, trailers for Grindhouse, never used, uh, and I kept you know I kept them as I knew. I was I was like, man, this this movie's gonna go down as a cult movie, and it did. It, it's you know now movie theaters are showing you know, revival screenings of it, and, you know, those sh shows are selling out and stuff, so, you know, I remember when it actually came out, and running it for the first time, um, and there was nothing, so, th these trailers are pretty much the same, um, these are Green Band trailers, you know, um, let's see, so, I have two, oh, Two grind houses. Let's see. Let's take a look. Unfortunately, it's got that name on the bottom. Grindhouse trailer two. This was, I think, the final trailer. Green band. Two minutes and twenty-seven seconds, and unfortunately has this non-existing studio right there. But uh, hey, you know it's cool to have these. Um, I remember running it. I miss it, uh, and I'm glad to say I'm able that I. That I'm glad to say I was able to do that to run Grindhouse uh, because that was like a unique kind of experience. Um, so uh, if you haven't seen it, get it. It's on Blu-ray. Uh, there was a bunch of versions that came out on DVD without the fake trailers, and then they came out with one with everything, uh, because I guess the studio was trying to figure out how to make money off of it after it flopped so bad. Um, thanks again for watching, and this is an 80s Die Hard production. Alright guys, enjoy your Halloween. Bye.